Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, site of the Scouting Combine. Our next guest made the drive over from Pittsburgh. I made the drive from West Virginia. Hard to get a quick, easy flight from Pittsburgh anywhere, really. I found that out during the Super Bowl. But Omar Khan, now 22-plus years yeah. with the Steelers organization. Yeah. That is amazing. Has it felt like it's, it's blink of an eye? It's unbelievable how fast it's all gone. But it's been an honor and a privilege, and I've, I've loved every moment of it. Um, let's, like, dive right in, if you don't mind. Just sure. like, you know, quarterback. Yeah, pick well, it. Well, you are diving right in. Diving. Right. Well, what do you want me to do? Hey, you want some <laughs> flowers? Talk you want a some coffee? Can, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't hang know. out. <laughs> talk about Pittsburgh. Well, no, but I'm really, I mean, one, you know, the development of him and what you saw from him this year. But I'm also interested is just, like, the years of accumulation of, like, when was he on your guys' radar and, you know, knowing he was in the building? And when did you start to go, hey, let's take a little extra look at this guy. He might be something down the road. You know, he uh, obviously their facility is right next to ours, right. and you know we were uh, we share the same stadium, so we've had the opportunity to get a, we've had a lot of exposure to him, and um, you know we knew early on that he had a chance to be pretty good. Yeah, you did, and uh, yeah. we felt pretty good about it. And fortunately, you know, last year we're picking twentieth, and he's there. Right, right, and, and that was just a no-brainer for you guys. No-brainer. Could you did you did you expect him to be there? Were you like shocked at that moment? You thought maybe there was a chance. Yeah, there was a chance. We you know, but once he was there, we were ready to pick him. Right. All right, and then if you could further along. Long, just kind of break it down what you saw from the guy this year because I know we were impressed with a lot of things we saw. Um, his growth has been awesome to yeah. see. His leadership. Um, I think the future is really bright with Kenny. Uh, and I said this earlier today. The thing that's great about Kenny is that Kenny wants to be great. Yeah. He really does. Yeah. He works at it and it's important to him and he loves football. Uh, he loves his teammates and he's, he's just been he's just been a lot of fun to be around. Yeah. What's his ceiling? Uh, you know Time will tell, I think. I mean, he can be uh, – he, he works really hard at it. I mean, he's we'll, – we'll see. I mean, time will tell. Is it like a new thing in the NFL now because we've seen some of these, you know, quarterbacks with rookie contracts kind of – do you feel extra pressure to like, oh, we got to get it done? It seems like it's a new fad in the NFL. Yeah. Maybe it's us talking about it more than it should be. Yeah, but. you know, a couple people asked me that earlier yeah. today. And, um, you know, I, every year we go into this, you try to build a team to right. win a Super Bowl. So I, I don't know if there's – added pressure to it obviously there's opportunities when uh when uh, a quarterback has a when you're when you have a, a quarterback a on a rookie number. contract yeah, right. but um you know you build you, every year you try to go into this try to win a super bowl and you know we we were around ben for roethlisberger for 18 years and he you know he wasn't on a rookie contract for uh yeah you guys for too long yeah and we you know we always try to do what we could to win a super bowl every yeah. year you know it's funny every team says our goal is to win the super bowl every year the Steelers are the only team when I I believe it when you say it. Like I think everybody else, it's like they have to say it yeah. to sell tickets and jerseys. Yeah, they're and one get of the few like, shortlist. I teams. feel like you guys truly do go into the season every year trying to win the Super Bowl, which means far more often than not, you're in a funk because <laughs> right. you know if that's your measure of success, you're not yeah. going to succeed all that often. Yeah, I mean that's I can't speak for the other teams, Mike, but um, you know, we go into it right now. We're in our planning process, and our our, our goal is to be in uh, I think Super Bowls in Vegas this year. Yeah, right? it is yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. To build this so that we're in Vegas in February of next year. Um, I want to go now to your other rookie this past year, George Pickens. Yeah. All right. What the f? What what the? <laughs> how the hell do you find these freaking receivers all the time? What is it? Who's in the building that? Or I mean, is it collaborative? Is there somebody that first puts it on everybody? I'm amazed. We talk yeah. about it all the time. When you guys draft a receiver, we all go, whoa, okay, he might yeah. be good, just because you guys seem to have the eye for it. Well, that's a, that's a credit to Kevin Colbert. You know, yeah. he's been doing it for so long. Hopefully, I uh, I learned a few things from him, and we can continue that. But that's See, that, he'd that's never take Kevin. the credit for it. He'd Kevin, never say it was him. I, I can tell you it was Kevin. Kevin's, Kevin <laughs> was a, a great evaluator. and. Do you have like was. a special eye for the receiver we, position? Well, you we, thought, we have or? certain characteristics that are important yeah. for us at that position. Right. And, um, uh, you know, I can't discuss them publicly, yeah, no, obviously, we get but, uh, it. yeah, yeah. We yeah. well, so, can, yeah. if you I want I can, but I'm not going for <laughs> nothing. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lawyer you or anything, there, but you could if you wanted to. Um, that's the thing that also impressed me about the Steelers. This is an organization, I mean, I've been around, in and around Pittsburgh all my life. There are so many dysfunctional teams, and I think the dysfunction comes from somebody tries to claim credit when things go well, somebody goes and hides when things don't go well. You guys never seem to have any of that nobody's trying to take credit for what goes well where does that come from in the organization that uh, culture you know that's that comes from the rooney family 
uh, since the day I got there. You know, it was about us, about the team. It's never been about one person. Uh, my, you know, I was telling you earlier, I, I started uh, Valentine's Day 2001 was my first day in Pittsburgh with the Steelers. And uh, from day one, I can tell you, it's, it's, they made it clear to us. I mean, you just, when you're around it, you just kind of see it, that it's, it's, it's not about the individual. It's about the team, you know, and winning Super Bowls. And, you know, we've got to work to it. We're due for one. So. Well, well, talk about your adjustment, you know. Mm-hmm. What, what, what was it like for you, year one, being a GM, you know. I, I mean, things you felt like, oh, i, I got to get used to this or get better at this or, well, you know, how was that? So, you know, I, I've been around Kevin for so long. We worked together for 20-plus years that the transition was easy. I'd, yeah. say, I'd say the uh, the tough thing is there's probably not enough hours in a day. People <laughs> come into my office. I mean, it's like a there's always an door. issue oh, or There's something, always something. Right? Someone's coming in. And, right. You know, everyone wants to be the first one in, and they want an answer right away, and that doesn't always happen. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, for the for the most part, it's it, it's been a smooth transition. But that to seems around. to be a big answer with coaches and GMs when they first get it. Just you, there's always always like you yeah. know, besides your job, there's always yeah. something you got to kind of take control or yeah. put the flames out in the building. Yeah. yeah. I want to go back to your quarterback, Kenny Pickett, and and this is in order to address one of the complaints we get from Dolphins fans, because we talk <laughs> about Tua Tonga Vailoa's concussions. Okay. And they say, why don't you ever mention that Kenny Pickett had two? And, and that is alarming. Quarterbacks, you know, usually at most will have one and not that many have one. Is that on your radar screen as a concern with Pickett, given he had two last year? And is he doing anything to try to avoid having more of them going forward? Tua, for example, is, is doing judo to learn how to fall properly. What, what, just let us know what's going on kind of behind the curtain there. Yeah, we, you know, it's obviously a concern, right? Um, you know, two concussions, and it, it's obvious, obviously a concern, you know, I, I can't speak to what Tua's concussions or how bad they were compared to Kenny's, but um, you know you take every every precaution, you take every step to try to get uh, you know to try to prevent them or, or minimize. You know the, the helmet, Kenny switched his helmet uh, during the season uh, at a recommendation from our medical staff. Um, you know I'm sure there's some some things that'll be discussed with the uh, coaching staff in terms of uh, uh, what he could do maybe to to maybe take uh, less hits, let's say. Um, but it, it's just, yeah, it is concerning. So, you, um, what I, what I wanted to say, I just I lost my train of thought there. I mean, because the helmet thing's interesting. That's where I wanted to get into. Well, that they're developing a quarterback specific helmet because most of the hits happen when the head hits the ground. Right, right. That's where I was going to get. That's where my mind was at. But either way, I got back to my question of what I want to. Well, right now, you know, we hear GMs kind of talk about focus on the team this offseason. What is it? What is it for the Steelers? Is there one position? Or anything, just an overall topic that you and Mike Tomlin are like, we gotta be this, or. Well, obviously, it's, it's nice being here, not having to uh, worry about the quarterback position. Yeah, that's, right. that's a plus. But I think anytime you can improve uh, any of the positional rooms, you're gonna try to do it. I mean, um, there's not. I wouldn't say there's one specific. It's, but you know, regardless of what it is, if we have an opportunity to improve, whether it's the O line, the D line, uh, yeah. the, the the corners, um. O line seems like it's the spot for like a you know the common fan. They're oh the O line's got to get better. That always seems to be the the answer there. But you know you know what our, I'll say about our line yeah. is is it was it was cool to see how they uh, progress how they grew and how they progressed right. how, how the season went on. You know it was really really fun to watch. Yeah yeah they got better at the end of the year and you're opening up some holes and protecting yeah, kept, pretty well. They, they kept uh, getting better and just the camaraderie with that group as as they connected. It, it was fun to watch. Yeah. What was the most rewarding win last year after the slow start? Ooh, um, that's a, that's a good question, Mike. Uh, you know. Um, you always like winning the divisional games. The guys, you have, uh, you know, the rivalries, you know. Remember, you can win in Baltimore is fun. Um, Had the Franco Harris night game, right? That, that, that was, was pretty that special, That was really, right? really special. Right. Uh, that, that was, you know, that was, there was so much emotion going into the game. That, that was really special, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're getting like, where, where's this? You know, what do you what do you look at as the common or the the state of the team right now? It seems like it's like you got some young pieces, but you got guys like Cam Hayward and you know some other older, older veterans. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, is there something to meet in the middle? Are you in rebuilding or you know, where do you think you are yeah, as a franchise? I, I, I don't really like these word rebuilding. I know you don't. Nobody but. does. <laughs> <laughs> well, but they never are. Yeah. They're yeah. never rebuilding. No, no, I know. I know. So we, we 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 feel like we got a good mix, right. you know, and we have the opportunity to add some pieces in free agency, and you know, we have um, some high picks this year in the draft that we can add some. Uh, 
some good football players, but um, we just got a good mix right now. We yeah. feel good about it. Yeah. Omar, thank you so much. Thanks Congratulations on your 22 plus years with the Steelers. Congratulations on being the general manager of the team and all the best moving forward. We hope to talk to you again. You're soon. great. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll be back you. with more from Indy right after Thanks this. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.